You really oh. have a lot of trust in your editor. No, well, <laughs> we'll see when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> and the last episode of Net Positive. Connect Positive. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple tour dates coming up, ladies and gentlemen. We are in Springfield, Missouri, Philly, and Appleton, Wisconsin in the month of September. If you're in any of those cities, we're doing a, a run of comedy clubs. Uh, and those are almost sold out. I think all those are almost sold out. They're smaller venues. There's like 300 seaters or something like that. And we're doing, I don't know, I'm doing math for you at the beginning of the, this podcast. <laughs> unnecessary. But Good we're start. Going, yeah. Uh, and then we're getting the tour started in the end of September. We're going to Sarasota, Melbourne, Fort Lauderdale, and Jacksonville, Florida, baby. Hyped for that. Um, and, dude, I was at uh, New Material Monday. Yeah. The new hour. Yeah. Is it. You like it? Is it. Mm. Sometimes you get locked into a, some material and you, I, we filmed it. Like, yeah. So I'm, it's done. Yep. So I just, I'm, oh, yeah, dude. You this guys tell good. me when you go up again, I got to come. This is going to be the up. tour. Uh, starting in October, Lima, Ohio, Shipshawana, Indiana. Three shows up there. Saginaw, Michigan. We come into Cheyenne, Sioux Falls, Denver, and Bakersfield to round out October, November. We're coming to Oxnard, Long Beach, Savannah, Georgia, Athens, Augusta, Bristol. We talked about Bristol in today's episode. Mm -hmm. uh, two shows in Bristol, I believe. Midland, Texas. Lubbock, Texas, almost sold out. Dallas shows sold out, added a second show. Uh, and then Chicago and Davenport, Iowa, baby. Welcome in, everybody. Hot episode today. This week's episode brought to you by Mando, baby. Uh, Alex, do you shower and hope for the best? Sometimes, unfortunately. You shouldn't do that. That's yeah. Take a shower and hopefully, and hope it's enough to keep the BO away all day. I used to shower and hope, but now I don't anymore, baby. Mando, whole body deodorant. Shower and removes the odor. Because the high pH, listen to this, of soaps and body washes, your body odor is going to come back with a vengeance. Oh. You didn't know that, did you? No. Mando, ladies and gentlemen, controls odor in a new way by lowering uh, your skin's pH. It helps your skin uh, odor-free for longer. The result, no more midday showers. Alex does that. Yeah. I've never done that in my life. That's a uh, psychopath behavior. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mando is clinically proven to control odor for up to 72 hours. That's unbelievable. So even if you miss a shower, you still smell great like uh, Tony the Tiger. So <laughs> uh, stop the shower. Stop. So stop the shower and hope. Save the hope for important things. You know, hope and change. Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. Like hope the barista. Oh, they do it for us. I don't know why I did this. Uh, like hoping the barista asks for a tip. Doesn't uh, nice. ask for a tip. Yeah. Doesn't ask for a tip. Dude, I was at. Uh, I'll finish that after the sure. chat read. Um Start using Mando whole body deodorant on your uh, pits package and feel and feet. Oh, sorry. Feet for clinically proven long lasting odor control. Special offer for our customer listeners. New customers get $5 off Mando's best selling starter pack with code net positive. Shop Mando.com, ladies and gentlemen. Shop Mando, M A N D O.com, and get $5 off the best selling starter pack with code net positive. I was going to say I was at Satco, uh, San Antonio uh, Taco Company here in uh, Taco, uh, did the uh, ordered, mm -hmm. and it's like one of those uh, where they make it, and then you go back up to the thing. Right. Didn't ask for a tip. Ah. Uh -huh. Didn't even ask. Interesting. I know. First time I'd seen it. Okay. First time I'd seen it. That's important. I went all the way. So do we feel like we're making progress? Was I a part of it? I don't know. Okay. One of the guy did wink at me. I'm just kidding. He didn't do that. That would be wild. <laughs> so he probably know your anti tip yeah. guy. They're like, yeah, hey, that like, guy, nah, don't show that him that. Don't yeah. show him that. Maybe there was a tip jar up there, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. yeah. I've always been okay. I'm oh, cool for sure. with the tip, tip jar. Tip jar is cool. Yeah, tip jar. I got no problem with the tip yeah. jar. Don't prompt me. And if I ever get, yeah, I'll throw that in there. Yeah. The tip jar. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Hot episode today. Great episode, dude. I like guests. I do too. This, yeah. And this was one of my favorite conversations we've had on this show. It started out very hot. Unbelievably hot. Way, way too hot. <laughs> White hot. White hot, you could say. And That's you'll know what I mean by that when you get in there. Yeah. Uh, Justin hot. Nunley's a good buddy of mine. Uh, I don't know. Would you say call us a fellow uh, comedian? Yeah. Not a stand-up comedian. Right. He's going to be. Right. But he's uh, you'll, you'll rec he's the guy that's, uh, listen, did you know that Florida has uh, 32 species of crocodiles or whatever? Yeah, whatever the joke is. Yep. Uh, just, just skyrocketed to the top of my feed. Yeah. 
Always has. Yeah. Every time I pop that app open, he there. He's he awesome, in there. Man. So consistent. Three. Got, in, got into talking about how many videos Crazy. he's doing a day. Yeah, yeah. And following his whole process and 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 and, uh, and what humor, the power of humor, and uh, awesome conversation. He's great, man. That was really cool. Just like they always said, and and I've been this this week, dude. I've been uh, pitched some guests. Okay. And I it it like. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Where are you at? No, I just go. I don't like to be pitched. Sure, I just, I like guests. Understood. I like to have them, but it, with like these, uh, every guest that we've had is is one that I want to. I went out and found. I go, dude, my audience would would love you. Yeah, yeah. This one's no different. Uh, we get into the whole topic. He's from. He's a military guy, also. Yep. From Florida. Yep. Uh, discovered uh, fame on the internet, and um, all roads lead to net positive. Yeah. Not really. Uh, Justin Danger Nunnally. Everybody enjoy the episode. <laughs> Justin Nunley's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. That positive. We're trying to get you forever, brother. Middle name Danger. Oh, sorry, I didn't include yeah, that. Take it, again, no, take it again. Take it again. Justin yeah. Danger. We can just stay with that. Nunley is in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. What's uh, happening? We're happy yeah. to have you. And if you don't, if you're listening on audio, do you probably do you think you recognize his voice, even if you don't see? I think so. I would say something. Listen, did you yeah, know yeah, that? They, yeah, they, they know that guy. Yep, yep. Yep. No, they, they know. know that guy. Audio listeners know now. Yeah, yep. yeah, they know that guy. Now that. you know. And then the visitor, the 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 YouTube visitors. Yeah, well, they know immediately. Yeah. Well, and you've been in here before. Uh, yeah, by accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so to to set this up. Yeah. Okay. I don't la- know anything about. Okay. This. Yeah. So the last time, I, I feel like in order for us to get there, we have to start the journey here, Take right? Us back, so the dude. last time, I feel last, like I'm on your podcast. Last summer. Yeah. I did a podcast here in Nashville. Okay. I was a day late getting to that podcast. <laughs> My manager calls me and he's like, Yo, where are you at? Where are you at? I'm like, he's there. I'm, I'm like, it's tomorrow. Yeah. He's like, it's definitely not tomorrow. It's definitely today. Right. So I was a day late. It was with Bunny. She wound up, you know, oh, yeah, I just doing yeah. it the next day. Yeah. Right? Everything was fine. Yeah. Right. Yesterday, <laughs> I showed up a day early for your podcast. <laughs> oh, you did? Bro. Wait, it's for mine? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I had I had nothing to do with these people. I did. It was so awkward because I walked uh, all right, in. You sent me a photo of you sitting there. <laughs> yes, I just sent you a picture. I was like, I started to tell you what happened. I was like, No, we'll just save it for tomorrow. It's good content. Oh my! So we happen to be rolling too. Can we play the clip? You're it, you're off camera, but we have audio. You yeah, came in on somebody else's pod. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Watch. Come in. How's it going? How His you going? face. Doing well. I am in the right spot, ain't I? I don't know. That was after about three minutes. You are in the right spot, but is that? It's tomorrow at four. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I was in a hurry to get to Nashville from North Alabama, too. I'm not in a hurry no more, you know? You were sitting out. right there? Yeah, can I sit in? Yeah. Can I get anything else to do right now? <laughs> Let me just sit and watch. I had nothing yeah. going on. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Let's do it. You know, it'd be fun. So Troy Cartwright was getting ready to record his show in here that he does every week. <laughs> and when just you walked, walked in. in, he assumed that like you were with us. <laughs> and Easton assumed that you were with Troy. I was so confused because I was like, there's only two chairs here. Where's John going to see it? Like, why is this guy in John's seat? <laughs> And you so, just sat down. Yeah. yeah, I was like, you know, I'm already here. Because he was like, he's like, dude, I love your stuff. You're funny. Like, I know who you are. I'm just confused as to why you're here. And he's I like, said, come on this podcast. Yeah. Let me just, Wait, you care if I just sit down and watch? Who was the guest? Somebody I, else. I'm not, I don't know. It, Did the guest ever come? It was actually come? a really cool yeah, story. Yeah. yeah. It's his pod. It's yeah. Troy's pod. Yeah. He sat right there for the full hour. <laughs> I even helped out with the audio visual at one point because the air conditioner kicked on. Oh, yeah. So I just reached over and bumped it up. That way they didn't have the, the background. It was great. We appreciate that. Wait, who's who was wrong on the scheduling, me or you? Oh, definitely me. Like okay, I, said, right. I, felt, I was like, you no. left your family and come up here a day early. John, we've known each other for a couple years yeah. now, probably about three years now. Yeah. You know that I have weaponized autism. Oh, yeah. It's either that. weaponized yeah. against myself or people I'm around. Who knows? Somebody's you know? getting hurt by it. Yeah, yeah. somebody. <laughs> Usually it's me. Somebody. A lot of people get helped by it. Yeah, right. So there's, it's like a, a... Elon Musk. Yeah, helped. <laughs> I mean, the buddy, list goes on. The reason why we this podcast is named Net Positive is because... Dustin Nickerson, who's a comedian buddy of ours, we were on tour. Don't mess up saying that name, Dustin John. Dustin <laughs> Nickerson. Have you seen yeah. that pro fisherman? No. 
What's his name, his name is James Negamire. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Dude. This is his name, though. You can't get in trouble for saying Hold the on, man's let me name. Say it. Let me let me let me see it. You see it? Mm-hmm. James. He always starts Nigemeyer. Dude, he always starts his videos out with James Nigemeyer here. Yeah. And it's just like, that's the best hook ever. Like it's Come gonna on, grab everybody's dude. attention. There he is. Or is it Nigemaya? <laughs> <laughs> I mean the, 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 the sorry. It's just, it's <laughs> That's the teaser, boys. There it is. Oh, oh that's great. That's well, perfect. our careers yeah. are over. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can't, be, can't be penalized for wow. somebody's name. Wow. There's isn't there somebody in uh, college football? There's a college yeah, football player. Kaniga. <laughs> yeah. So he's at what Central Michigan? Oh, this is crazy. You can't get in trouble for saying people's that's names. Name. Okay. He would be offended if you said his name wrong. Dude, I'm telling you, those Central Michigan. Look up Central Michigan football player. At Central Michigan college football, you know. How do you spell that it? they have got some old white guys in that announce booth. They're going to have to be very. They're they are <laughs> treading on thin ice. Breath. They're excited about it, right? They're like, we get yeah. to <laughs> look. Oh, we get look, to go back in time look, a little bit. Alex typed in Central Michigan football, and then he's nervous about what to type. <laughs> yeah, how do, I don't even know how to begin <laughs> to spell this. K N. He just left it. Ah, <laughs> uh, G G A. No. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, that's it. Right there. That's it, that's that it. is it, dude. Yeah. Noah playing for the Chippewas. Oh. Noah. <laughs> you got no, it, it's not like knife. You can't say it like knife. The no. K is definitely not silent. That's that what is I said. What, what did I say? You said it. That's how it's. No, no, no. On. You said it, John. No, I <laughs> you, said it. You said it. <laughs> yeah, Y'all you, are going to have to cut that How do you say his last name? How do you say his last name? Kaniga. <laughs> That's crazy. Kaniga. No, it's not silent, dude. Yo, no, ask I, him. Yeah, no, they've. Ask him. Well, I'm, in, I'm, I'm uncomfortable now. <laughs> it's. How do you? It's Noah. Noah Kaniga. It's not, dude. I swear, they did it's an interview. It's not a knife. <laughs> it's not a knife. Hey, you say it however you want to. I'm pronouncing that K. All right, we might have to cut. <laughs> yeah, every time. Because you. Oh yeah. We might have to cut that you out. You really dude. stepped out on that. We yeah. started. It started hot, dude. It started hot. <laughs> yeah. You really oh, have a lot of trust in your editor. No. Well, <laughs> we'll see when it comes out. <laughs> And the last episode of Net Positive was with Justin Danger Nunling. Connect Positive. Connect. <laughs> Sorry, so we well, went off on that tangent. So yeah. what was you talking about with, uh, um, it was another in name. my skin's hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. you're, I, think it's, I think you're allowed to say it now. I think you are. Oh, goodness. I switched up the rules. Yeah, since mm. Kamala. <laughs> He's not saying anything. No, nope. is that not wild? <laughs> that is crazy. Dude. This has been the craziest three weeks in dude. American politics. The news cycle is insane. Well, I got on stage on Monday night at the comedy show, and everybody's phones are locked up. And I was just doing a joke. I goes, "Are right, everybody's phones are locked up?" I go, "Did you hear?" And everybody goes. And I go, nah, just kidding. There's nothing. <laughs> but what could it have been that you would be surprised? I wouldn't be surprised nothing, anymore. Nothing, dude. Nothing. No. Nothing. Nothing. I go, did you guys hear about, and they all go, like, everybody's collectively holding their breath. It's crazy. There'd be nothing. There'd be like, hey, uh, the sun isn't real. I'd be like, that's crazy. They kept that from us. Yeah. <laughs> or I mean, whatever they would say. I don't believe anything. Oh, I don't believe it. What did you see that, you know, so... You know, Kamala was given her first speech after she, after the torch was passed on to her, yep, right? Yep. And uh, Biden called in, so everybody's oh. been running this through the the AI detection software, yep. and they're like, "That's like ninety six percent AI generated voice." Gosh, yeah. I did I'm see, not surprised by anything anymore. I did see something that was like, every now and then the program glitches and says it's fake when it's not. And so people were saying yeah. that, but they ran ran it through multiple times, and I think it was like ninety six, ninety eight percent every single time. And we all know he real? does not speak that clear. I'm sorry, he didn't he didn't stutter and she on said, nothing. She said something about like the recording. <laughs> the record. She's like, call. good to have you yeah. on the recorded call. Yeah. Call. Yeah. yeah. I wish I knew some stuff that other people didn't know. I people. I wish I was me. in on something. 
Dude, people tell me wild stuff all the time. Like I'm like, hey, you shouldn't be telling me this right now. I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I can't be trusted with. Do this. you keep good secrets? I, I keep very good. I don't even tell my wife some of this stuff that people like. I'm talking. Dude, we like, got pulled over together, and you told everybody. Well, because that was funny. <laughs> oh. All right, so it can't be a funny secret if you're going to tell the secret. If it's fun, no, it's funny, so yeah. yeah. Fair enough. You didn't get a ticket. I didn't get a ticket. Yeah, Check well, that privilege. Nice. That was, just saying. Yeah, yeah. was a nice guy. Well, I think, yeah, I want to be on, I want to be on the, I want like the, uh, who, are, who are the people that call you to get you the celebrities? Illuminati? Yeah, I want them, I want to, yeah. I'd talk to them. Yeah, you'd take that call. Would you? Yeah, I wouldn't do it. Probably I wouldn't go to the meeting, but I'd just hear, I'd, you know, if they sent me a pamphlet or something. You'd get that black eye. Ain't that what they say? I, yeah. And you have to wear a dress. I just want to be like my cousin. He's like, dude, so do they like, I go, I wish there was something going on up here. Like the politics. I don't think they're that smart. Do you? No, they're no. To like do something. No, the, the crazy thing is, is it like everybody knows that all of this stuff is going on. Everybody knows that it's just corruption everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And we know it. But they still keep giving it to us like we're, we're like we're stupid. We're like, dog, we've been knowing this. Stop. Yeah, like it's not surprising. But I guess in the in the like w so with JFK, and I could get this wrong. It's like sixty years ago. Eleven twenty two sixty three. So it's in yeah. Thir Four, 40. Sixty years ago. How do you know that? I don't know what those numbers. Eleven twenty two sixty three. Yeah, the, November twenty second. Steven Spielberg. Oh, oh, oh. Did you not watch that TV show? About no, this dude, time I'm on traveler TikTok. that goes back. I'm not watching a TV show. <laughs> what year so is it? No, no, no. 2024. Oh, this was like back before social media got big. Okay. It was like Steven Spielberg directed it. I think James Cameron had something to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so no, whatever King. happened, they didn't they didn't tell everybody, correct? Mm -hmm. Because like the, all the files were like locked for like 60 years or whatever because if the everyone knew it would start a war, right? But would it? I mean, not now, but at the time. If you're like, if you found out that the government, and I don't, don't clip this, but like the the the, the government sent that kid up onto that roof, it would be a war. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but the crazy, right? Thing, mm -hmm. You would think so. The crazy thing is about like today is you don't know what's true and what ain't. Anymore. You don't. We do that on the pod every week. We have a segment called like real or fake, and you're watching something. You're like, is this a bit? Or is this real? And then, like with we Easton with the uh, Trump member with um, him playing golf the next day. Oh yeah, I immediately was like, "That's not true." So did I. Period. That's not true. There's, there's no way. way. I there's said, "There's no, no way. way." And so he I went said, and "It's it true." Up and it was like, "What? You know, no, three months old or something." Yeah, not true. So but everybody people just take it as fact. And you have to like watch the internet now mm -hmm. with like my. My biggest, the reason I have a job is because people think my videos are real. Like the honest football coach. People still come up to me in the airport like, dude, that was crazy. Did you get fired from your job? I go, yeah, dude, it was nuts, dude. <laughs> the basketball coach when you said about Julia coach. high school, yeah. Yep. And also the uh, the weather reporter. Oh, yeah. When, and yeah, that's yeah. like, everybody's like, this is crazy. And I think you, we just have to remove ourselves from being like, is it real or is it not? Now, unfortunately, with the election and politics, it affects people. Big time. That's a problem, dude. Yeah. yeah. But like if, if, like, you know, when, uh, oh, when Howie Mandel, uh, what's his oh name, walked God. out. Yeah. Oh, I thought pod. you were speaking to talk about the. Yeah. The He's not actually OCD. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if he's. <laughs> I thought you were speaking to talk about the prolapsed picture what, that he what? shared on X. I didn't the, see it. The prolapsed. I'm not Googling that. Can I that. say butthole? <laughs> no, uh, it's a Christian podcast. Yeah, we can we can clip yeah. it if you have to. He's already he's crazy. already deep and he's um, already <laughs> negative in the looking up stuff. He was just he was like, I thought this was just like a COVID picture. Is or something. this real? Yeah. yeah, of him? <laughs> no, it was like I oh. don't know. It was wild. You'll have to check that one out on your own. Well, we went we so when Dana White came on his podcast, remember that? And he was like reading everything, and he goes, "Dude, I can't take this anymore." And got up and left, and I was like. That's crazy. And I just watched a clip of Dana White this week saying that it was fake. We thought it was real. We were we all it was in real. On it. And we were like, well, that, if that like, like you're saying about so if 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 you are if Justin Nutley turns out to be like Russian and like 26 years old, or mm -hmm. like I would go, that's crazy. I liked that guy and he was my friend, but that doesn't really nothing like would would mess with anybody anymore. Yeah. 
they were like, Donald Trump is a like a he's like all he's like animatronic. I go, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like not you, shocked. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or whatever the thing is. They were like, oh, that crowd was actually not there. It was all AI generated. Like, like unfortunately, that's just the the world we have to live in now. And it's crazy what you what I can do with my phone in twenty minutes to make you think that like something is something else. You know, like I can be anywhere in the world. Oh yeah, yeah. Period. And, and then you would never know the difference. Your buddies will text you you're like, dude, what was it like in Paris watching the Olympics? You're like, dude, I'm at, I'm at home, bro. Right. Yeah. Well, even when they announced the, like they released all the alien documents and stuff during COVID, everybody was kind of like, I mean, there's so much going on right now. Like, sure, we'll take that one too. And we just took it in stride. But that's so crazy is because the people that have been saying for years, there's aliens, there's aliens, they're the crazy people. And then as soon as the government says, yeah, there's aliens, everybody was like, you're crazy if you believe the government. There's not aliens, you know, they, it's yeah. like, it's wild. And you know you have to. I guess if you're a, you're, I mean, look, everything on the internet is fake, but you would say this too. My car is real <laughs> that I bought with the money from the internet, <laughs> and yours is too. Multiple cars. Yeah, those are. So you're like, that's what it's interesting about watching. They say like you're watching like, uh, um, wh who was it? The the celebrities or something, and like, and then or oh uh wrestling is better wrestling is better like cody rhodes is actually dating whoever mm -hmm. that you're like well okay well the wrestling's fake but that's real and you're like wait and he really is like two actors like, yeah, like well they're Becky married lynch and seth rollins are actually yeah. married in real life yeah that's yeah, yeah they're they're they had re a real life baby real <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's the only way to like witness, watch everything. I mean, I have to, we, we're going to the, uh, what is it, AEW? AEW, Dynamite. <laughs> but like they used to say in, uh, um, what's it called? The, um, na, 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 na. What's the, um, the circus movie? The circus. Give me a little more. Ringling Brothers? No, the, it was, uh, this Arnold is what Bailey? you've been waiting for, the song. We Tell will. me where you want to go. Uh, greatest Showman. Greatest Showman. Thank you. You <laughs> couldn't get to that? It. Dang, Never bro. It. Well, he said uh, uh, he was talking about the circus. He was like, let's have a guy. Uh, we got this guy that's seven feet. Let's have him uh, in the circus. And then he goes, what if we put someone on stilts, make him 20 feet? And he goes, well, that's fake. And he goes, well, the, the smiles on people's faces are real. Mm. Mm. Anyway, let's go make some TikToks, dude. Go. Yeah, sorry. It's <laughs> a lot deeper than I thought she was going to go with that. Just in danger, not only. We got off track. Um, it's going to be like this the whole time. Mispronouncing <laughs> some words. We're chasing squirrels, No, nah, I'm getting bro. back on track, dude. I'm getting back on track. Good Welcome luck. To, do you want to say, you want to say the history, um, the, our history together? Our history together. Where yeah. do we start? I know where to start, where we met. Yeah, the Braves game. We yeah. met World at the Series. Braves game. Yep. Was it? Mm -hmm. oh, World wow. Series, game five. I mean, don't brag. Like nice. we just—I was in there by myself. I think was I. Yeah. yeah, I must have been. And you hit me up on on a DM. Yeah, I did. I was a fan of yours, and then you were like, "Tell me, like, yeah, yeah." Because you, you was on Instagram, you shot a story out, and I was like, "Yo, I'm here too. Let's get together." Yeah, and you were with so your buddy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Then we went to a couple NASCAR races together. Got pulled over. Kickball. Kickball. I'll be back this you year. You watched me get blasted in oh, the yeah. face with the ball. Uh, you did get blasted. Yeah smoked Tough. it's an interesting it's an interesting watching other people on uh on uh, we were talking about this before you came in here because you got you got popular at what age do you think 37 38 38 38 what do well, you think 37 yeah what do you think is the best age to become famous late 30s <laughs> i think so because you you i don't know what your answer is going to be but you kind of understand what you have yeah. You know, and you're not going to, you know, play it loose. I mean, I, I play it loose, you know, I have fun, Yeah. but you know where, you know where the line is, you know, yeah. young people, they think they know everything. They don't, they don't, you know? No. Nah. Well, I feel like the, like when somebody gets very popular, very young, you're like, I could see this, this going badly. Mm -hmm. And I feel like what, what I've liked about your content is, uh, is that it is, you do always kind of come back to like, there's always, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of philanthropy going on. Mm -hmm. 
You agree with that? Yeah. There's a lot of like, hey, there's people that are in need, and there's re- like, they say no comic becomes transcendent before forty. They said Eddie Murphy and B- and Dave Chappelle were the only ones that were like transcendent in their thirties because it takes so long to like have something to say. <laughs> and I feel like what what you're great at on the internet is like, yeah, we'll make jokes. We're all, but when when it when it goes down that people can look to you. You agree with that? Yeah, 100%. Well, I, I truly think that, you know, uh, we all have different purposes in life, right? Yeah. But I do think that one of our main purposes in life is to help people when they need help. Dang. You know, no matter no matter where they're at, don't care what your race is, you know, your your religion is, people are hurting, you know, and and just like me walking into that room yesterday, I believe that any room that I walk into, I have a purpose there. There's a reason for me being there. I don't know what it is. It may not show its face for two or three years. Me being in that room yesterday and just sitting down and watching the podcast is, is in my mind, is going to have a purpose somewhere down the line. I don't know what it is. That's what you were there for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that. Nothing Dang. happens by mistake. I was here a day early for a reason. Yeah. You missed your kid's softball game and your wife's anniversary, <laughs> but you were here in a podcast that you had nothing to do with. <laughs> Speaking of my wife's anniversary, like was it? what is my birthday? Crystal. You, when we first when we first really got to talking yeah. before we met was you hooking me up with uh Leanne. Mm. Yep. Sent her down to that show. Leanne Morgan, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then that when you came to wouldn't you come to my show somewhere? Yeah, down in Louisiana. Just and now Mike up. the guys that opened for me, they would they would never you, you it's like you would they would never ask for a photo ever with anyone and everybody's been in that green room and they were like whispering to me like yo can we get a photo it's <laughs> nice. like go for it dude. Nice, yeah, dude. yeah go those for guys it, were dude. hilarious yeah dude, the show's great yeah i like that guy that screams what's his oh, name derek <laughs> derek yeah derek yells <laughs> derek yells that's what he's going yeah. for yeah. derek screams yeah. that's his alternate personality can we go back to the getting famous in your late 30s uh what do what do your late 30s friends think as you're like starting to snowball and get attention or even just before that like how was that perceived in your friend groups and everything like that? Man, I cut a bunch of people off. Yeah. I cut a bunch of people off. And it was honestly before I really hit, like I could see it coming, right? I was I was trying to tweak it and figure it out and everything. And it finally clicked with me one day. It was like, you know, if you have a, if you have a goal, if you have a purpose in life, you're going to have the naysayers. Those people, cut them out. And I still, I still do nothing with them. Nice. Family longtime friends, you know, that had something negative to say that was trying to be a hindrance. I was like, you're gone. They you know, circle back afterwards? They tried. Yeah. But I ain't having it. Mm-hmm. You know, Dang. once once you're done, you're done. Mm-hmm. Your you wife, know, she with, says something. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> well, I, Pack got your a, bags. I got a purpose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Crystal's what? been so supportive. Oh, yeah. Crystal's awesome. Well, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? To, like, well, like, what type of things? Just like the silly. Some of the silly, jokes and the punchlines yeah, and yeah, stuff, right? Yeah. Some people get it. Some people don't. And I'm okay. I'm not for right. everybody. You're not for yeah. everybody. And who cares? Okay. You know? Well, don't lump me into that. But. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, you know. The, You're right. No, people, right yeah. people are saying, you know, you know, this is just vulgarity. Okay. You know? No, that's where your mind took it. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, you can look at a punchline several different ways, you yeah. know? And it could be. I love double entendre jokes. Love oh, yeah. them. Absolutely love them. Because it's wherever your mind's at is yeah. how you're going to you take took that it there. Yeah. You took yeah. it there. I didn't. How many, how many, uh, and I want to get back onto this topic in a second, but how many things have I seen on TikTok that I, I can't post this and I've sent it to you? Oh, yeah. Tons. I love <laughs> I go, it. I go, man. Should we do that up too? the DMs between me and John? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I go, dude, this is unreal. You should stitch. I can't. I can't touch this, but this is. And sure oh, you're alley ooping him content. Yeah, there was there was. <laughs> and one, I see it on his. I'm nice. like, yes, dude. He, you know, you're gonna know which one I'm talking about. But you sent me one one afternoon, and I was like, I haven't seen that. that that's pretty cool. And and I stitched it that afternoon. Went stupid viral. Gosh. And I was like, appreciate it, John. Yeah, shout out co-producer. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think sometimes I probably get. I mean, if something within my whether it's like. Southern culture, Crocs related, or Christianity, or maybe Chick Fil A. Th- that I get it. Mm-hmm. You the same. I've gotten this a thousand times. My yeah, yeah. To be the first person to send it to the other person is like, because I'd be like, if it's a buddy, I'd be like, LOL, dude, it's hilarious. I don't want to be like, I already saw it, 
So that's mm-hmm. not, I just go, yeah, I want to be the first guy to send it. Yeah. No, it, it's, yeah, my, my uh, inbox and my, my Reels feed and my For You page is a mess. Oh, yeah, I bet it is. It is wild. Yeah. From the people <laughs> stuff send me, and I'm like, that's pretty funny. And, I, you know, I guess the, the Alp is watching. It knows what you like. So if, so if, if somebody's, if somebody's I'm, I'm trying to think of what the best way to word this. If somebody was like, I didn't approve of that or, I, or, or, or like. I don't care. You, yeah, you, I feel like you have to be like that. That's another good thing. I, I'm, about, I wish I was more like you in that way. Well, that's another good thing about, you know, the age thing is yeah. because I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I don't care what you think. I think that comes through on, in your content. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it, it, you know, and it comes with age. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a bunch of content creators. They'll reach out to me and, and they'll be like, man, people are, people are dragging me saying this. I was like, why do you care? Why do you care what that person says? Do you know who you are? Yeah. Because if, if it's true, then you should be concerned about it if you know it's bad. It sounds like a Bible verse, bro. Yeah. Probably, well, if you go, if you go, we've talked about this before on the pod. If you go, anybody that's posted anything on the internet, and yeah. and this is a question that we were going to ask too, is is like you, the kind of the modality of this whole thing is we go, we made a thing, look at it, and they are allowed to say, mm-hmm. I don't like it. That's part of what we showed it to mm-hmm. them. Like I'm not sitting in a cubicle. You just walked into my office and started criticizing me. We right. said, hey, everybody, look at this. You're opening yourself up for that. So that has to be a part. You're, you, you have to be. If somebody says, hey, we liked all 99 of your videos. We hate this one. They should be allowed to do that. And if that bothers you that they said that they didn't like it and here's why they didn't like it, and, and that bothered you, that is something you needed to hear. It's just like going to church Dang. and hearing a sermon and you get mad about the sermon. That's the sermon you needed to hear. I'm going to go. The gut that's punch. A, like, that's man, he got me. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, they always be like, I wish you would cheer hard in, in church as you do during football or something like that. And you're like, <laughs> oh, man, dude, that's a great point. You ever taken anything down on request? Very rare. I will. You know, if, if, if somebody reaches out and, and I know they're right, it may be, you know, that wasn't my intent, mm-hmm. but I'm like, ooh, yeah, I can see that. I'm like, mm. now that I'm looking at it that way, yeah, let's take it down. Yeah, I don't yeah. mind taking something down. You'll still leave, like, room for nuance of, like, no, I was wrong on that one. Yeah. Cool. That's I awesome. I mean, th- there was only one perfect man, and, you know, they hung him up on wood. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we're going to make mistakes. Yeah, All but, of but us. you're also not, you're not, like, screw the haters. You're like, right. I could hear that. Right. right. And, I mean, not if one person is, like, I, I'm offended by that, you're like, all right. But if, if, if there's, like, a, you're like, I can't bat a thousand. I say that sometimes. I can't bat a thousand. I mean, you want me to. What's funny about us and what we do is we press this line. Mm-hmm. So then we go over it and everybody's like, there it is. I go, all right, well, I'll but be happy. But you got to know where the line is. Yeah. And, you, and you're guessing. You're, it's a constant guess because something may be good one day. The next day it's not good. <laughs> yeah. You know? Anybody ever, if it's like you, you made fun of them and they were like, that's me. I'm pissed. No. Really? No, I've never had that happen. I don't think I have wow. either. Wow. No, and it, that's crazy. That's more so what I was asking about. It was like you duetting or stitching and somebody goes, something and somebody being like, this is my me. content. Yeah. Yeah. No. Wow. Mm-mm. Why do you think that is? I haven't, it hasn't happened to me either. Has it ever happened on this pod? No. No, and we make fun of stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's because... Uh, we've just gotten luckier. We know the people to pick, or those people understand it's a joke. Yeah, you know, it's part of their craft. That's I do think like content creators, uh, like it's getting more healthy in terms of like I think people are understanding more of. We talk about this all the time of like understanding what the internet is and how content fits into our lives and not getting so wrapped up in it identity wise. Yeah, maybe that's evidence of it. Well, depending on the platform, for sure. I'll you know, the, bro. bro. <laughs> I can I can stuff will fly on TikTok or an Instagram that will not fly on Facebook. Really? Yeah. Well, that's crazy when you uh, when you came out and like endorsed Trump. I thought that was wild that you did that. I never did that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Are you <laughs> high right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I I was going back in my mind. I'm like, I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> I did do a Kid Rock video the other day, but I don't think that was a direct it's endorsement. Kind of, it's kind of a J. Yeah, you're on the yeah. boat. <laughs> You're on the boat with Kid Rock. <laughs> yeah, you know, I still think it's funny that people ask, 
you know, who who you support, you know, president wise, who'd you vote for, whatever. Yeah. Like, yo, it don't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. But I yeah. have said, you know, <laughs> over and over again, I think one of the worst things in America right now is the fact that we've all been pitted against each other. Yeah. You know, like yeah. just because John Christ is a Democrat, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and I, I happen to lean a little bit more right of center that, that we're enemies. We're still buddies. Yeah. We're still we buddies. We don't have to be enemies with each yeah. other. We just have a different way of thinking. We, we got a different, different. We, we got a different rally schedule. Right. I go to my rallies, you right. go to yours. Exactly. <laughs> and that's fine. And we're still buddies. You know that put it behind us. That does bother me. That because I mean it sells. You know, yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for that, the news would already be. That's right. Really, the only thing anybody's watching on TV anymore: sports and news. I mean, my, all my timeline is is politics. Mm-hmm. All the all the timelines, sports. Yeah, sports and news. I remember I was dating this girl, and she was like, her dad was like a. Um, like I've I've looked up to him and like respected him a bunch and she's like he was like a, a hardcore like Democrat like and I go well that guy's reasonable I know him I'm <laughs> friends with him and he I go ah oh, we're gonna be all right there's extremists on every side yeah and it's always whenever you you say you know whenever you say somebody you know somebody's a liberal your mind yeah. automatically goes to that chick on her knees screaming after Trump got elected <laughs> on the DC corner. <laughs> That's yeah. where your mind goes, yeah. you know, or if you talk about, you know, somebody that's conservative, you automatically think storm in the Capitol on January yep. the 6th, you know, that it's, I'm like, okay, dude, was I past the barricade? Sure. <laughs> but was I in there? No. Everyone was past the barricade. Yeah, they day. let us yeah. past the barricade. <laughs> that I, okay. Was I was in the day. lobby. I was in the lobby. I, I <laughs> like, I wasn't first. I wasn't storming, that would say, well, A dude wearing a buffalo hat stole the speaker's lectern that was the wildest day ever i feel there was a comedian on, and he's from florida well you're it's your, florida it's your buddy yeah i was in the the there was a comedian from london that was on the show on monday new material monday and he just kind of his whole act was he just said our news <laughs> he was like it's okay great punchlines. Fair. he goes y'all had a debate and it was the most Un, it was the wildest thing you've ever seen. Then there was an assassination, and then Joe Biden is gone. <laughs> and that we were dying. And he was like, do you understand how crazy that is? And we were like, he said, one time somebody threw a, a bottle of water at one of the presidential candidates, and they stopped the election. He's like, we're pausing the election. It's out of control. Wow. We had an assassination American attempt. Politics. And then he was the next day. And they were still slinging mud that day. Yeah. That you day. Know? Yeah. Wow. Man, America. Speaking of getting stuff through at you when I was at your show. Uh-oh. What what'd happened? she hit you with? Who? There was some chick threw something up on stage and hit you with it when we oh, were in Louisiana. I don't know. I mean, it's Louise been some crawfish or something like that. <laughs> hey, if you're listening <laughs> and you go to a com- show, if you've never thought about this, they can't see the audience. They can't see you, dude. We can't they, see They you. see nothing but bright lights. You cannot see. You can't even see the front row. I've been up on stage before. You can't see nothing. Two don't rows nothing. back, you can't see anything. Oh, I do remember that. What was that? I don't know. It's like a pin or something. Yeah, somebody threw. Oh, oh, it was like a, like a pin. Yeah. Somebody threw. It was like a my, me yeah. and this woman together yeah. on a, I was like, All right. <laughs> oh. no like a like a having a hug or something having a hug yeah, I'm nervous. Just having, just having a hug i feel like i do earlier in the episode when we were looking up that football player i feel this, i feel similar it was right it was right in the middle of your bit about the promise ring that was oh, great well, oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. purity ring <laughs> well you what what uh, what did what how did you grow up religious church crust Oh yeah, we've yeah, man. About we this. ain't. We, hey, don't don't bring no pianos in this church. You church know, we ain't trying to go to hell. Church. What, what was <laughs> yeah. what was it called? Do you remember? Yeah, Cherokee Church of Christ Cherokee. or, or Maud Chir- Maud Church of Christ. M a u l d. M a u d. Maud Church Maud. of Christ. That's where me and Crystal met. Really? Back when we were little kids. How old? Man, I was. I don't know. She was probably like seven. I was. I was probably like two. No, she ain't that much older. <laughs> she I was older probably than like you? three. Yeah, she's like four years old. That's where y'all me. met. Yeah, that's the ideal time to get in a relationship too. Yeah, single digits. Yeah, for sure, single digits, and then get famous at forty. Yes, that's the that's the ideal plan. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. No, she would have never. No, she would have never. She I was wild when you were seven, when you were three, <laughs> all the way up. Oh yeah, 
Yeah. All the single digits, man. Just running. And wild. so she, I couldn't imagine. She Even was, most of the double digits. Nice. There you go. Was she like, well, I mean, what's happening in your early 30s? You got two, you got a couple kids. Mm-hmm. You're just so going, I'm still active. You're just you do going military. to work. I knew that. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got you're one, just going one to work. year. One year left. One more year? One year. That's crazy, dude. Mm-hmm. That's Where, the only thing holding me back from being on stage. We'll come to your graduation. Let's go. You want to open I for me? I think it's called a retirement. Yeah, let's do it. You can it. come out. Yeah. I'll come open for you. Yeah, you can come out and do whatever you want. We'll put you on anything the show. Anything I want. Hey. Yeah, you would do hey, anything you, you heard want. it. This week's episode brought to you by Rocket Money. Did you know that nearly 75% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about? Oof. Before I started using Rocket Money, Alex, yeah. I thought I had about, I'm going to say 25 Ey. subscriptions. And it turns out uh, it was more. Yikes. Yeah. Rocket Money showed me it was more than 25 and you just go through doing click delete them all yep uh subscriptions each month between streaming services fitness apps and delivery services uh it's never ending and i'm i'm, I'm always adding to them by the way yeah uh thanks to rocket money i'm no longer wasting money on the ones i've forgotten about i've been trying to save money for a while you know me i'm off work in the summer just out here hanging out yeah Trying to get a, uh, yeah, I'm off work, not gotta, making no money. You got to pinch those pennies a little bit. Got to. Uh, I've been trying to save money for a while, but it seems like my bank account was stuck. Mm. Ain't that the truth? Thankfully, I heard about Rocket Money and gave it a try. It turns out I had a bunch of subscriptions I was paying for that finally started to see my account balance go up because I canceled them, baby. Save money on your car insurance by canceling it. That was so <laughs> That was somebody's joke. I forgot to do it. I, I said, good. That's not my joke. I don't know whose it is. 10% or more. I just saved 10% or more on my car insurance by canceling it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've always struggled finding time to manage my finances because I'm trying to make jokes on the internet. Um, at the end of a busy week, the last thing I want to do is sit down and spend my time budgeting like a nerd. Uh, but, you know, Rocket Money does it all for me now. And uh, it's the best. Rocket Money, a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions monitors your spending and helps lower your bills who doesn't need that yeah nobody everybody needs it yeah who double, doesn't need it yeah uh, double negative threw me off there i said that right though who doesn't need it nobody, nobody. yeah you got I it i said it right yep yeah yep rocket My bad. money has over five million users that's unbelievable and has helped its members save an average of 740 dollars a year that's a playstation right there yeah over 500 million in canceled subscriptions Unbelievable. Speaking of doing a service for mm. the American people, Rocket Money's out of here working. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash net positive. That's rocketmoney.com slash net positive. Rocketmoney.com slash net positive. Or hit the link in the episode description <laughs> below. Who wrote that? You said, uh, you did I say it too like many a, times? No, you sounded like you were advertising like a monster truck show. Oh, yeah. Chill. Dude. Trucks, yeah. trucks, 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 trucks. Come on down. <laughs> yeah, they're like, dude, all right, we got it. Uh, n- these aren't back-to-back, right? They are. Oh, they are? Yeah. All right, I'll go back-to-back. Roll it. Keep that in. Yeah. This week's episode brought to you by Miracle Made, yep. everybody. I think we're right at the part in the episode where we're talking about uh, sponsorships. Yeah, perfect. This might, this might work right, or it might come after this. I'm not sure. Uh, did you know that your temperature at night can have the greatest impact on your sleep quality? Yes, you know that, Alex? definitely do. If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets inspired by NASA. Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. Did you know that traditional bed sheets can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat? Ugh. It can lead to acne, allergies, and stuffy noses, and it's all just Gross. Gross. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self-cleaning, eco-friendly bedding, such as sheets, pillowcases, and comforters to prevent 99% of bacteria and require three times less laundry. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, self-cooling properties for better sleep, self-cleaning, comfort, quality. They're luxurious without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some of the five-star hotels. Wouldn't know because I've never stayed in a five-star hotel. <laughs> but uh, you know what? I trust them. Stop sleeping on bacteria, ladies and gentlemen. Go to trymiracle.com slash net positive to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, mm. and it's if a loved one, you're sleeping in the same bed as them. So mm. it's probably a gift for you. Yeah. Uh, you're like, babe, I got these sheets for you. I also sleep in this bed. Yeah. Nice. I see what they try well to do. Well played. This. Well played, Very Miracle nice. Made. I see what you're trying to do. I got this car. I got this boat for us. 
<laughs> well, you're going to be on this boat, too. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess I didn't think about it. I am. I am going to be on the boat, I got too, this yeah. TV for us. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> if you order one today, you can save over 40%. And if you use the promo code NETPOSITIVE at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. That's unbelievable, actually. Miracle is so confident in their product. It's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied with your sheets... You get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep, Easton and Alex, mm. with Miracle May. Go to trymiracle.com slash netpositive and use the code netpositive to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, trymiracle.com slash netpositive or hit the link in the episode description below to treat yourself. Thank you for your service. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's awesome. Absolutely. Got one more year left, and it'll be 20 years. I can retire right off in the sunset. Wow. He's Where did TikTok... Right off of the sunset. You ain't going nowhere, dude. You're 40. Where did TikTok come from for you? Like, how did that become... Like, how did content become... The Alp store. Okay, no, I, cool. Uh, I don't know. I didn't even know what TikTok was. And I just kept hearing people talk about it. And I was like, I don't know what this is. So I downloaded it one day just on a whim during COVID. You know, we was all stuck at home. and uh, Man, doing nothing, Is bro. TikTok what popped first for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't know anything. But I didn't know anything about content creation. Period. You know, I I had seen your stuff on on Facebook. I didn't have any clue on how to do any of this stuff. You know, and I just wow. watched. I was scrolling. I seen seen a guy about my age telling a joke. I looked at the likes, and it was like six hundred thousand likes. And I was like, it was a decent joke. <laughs> You're talking t- about me? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I was, I was like, gonna say, and that man is John Chris. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a lot of your stuff, and I was like, I'm better than this. <laughs> I was like, I've never done it before. I'm better than this guy. That's <laughs> that's pretty much how it went. You know, this this guy, and I'm friends with him now, so I won't tell who he is. But, you know, I was watching, and I was like, I could do better than that. Yeah. And he had a bunch of followers. So I started trying to figure it out, and I did. Well, I think it's 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 crazy that it's – I think it's – I mean, a lot of us, are, I'm guessing, are the same. It started with, like, one single type of bit, and now it's, like, a ton of them. Mm-hmm. And you see – a lot of people that can't ever really get out of their thing. Mm-mm. You know, you can't be stuck into one thing. And I, we've never even talked about this. What's like that? on the, you know, you can't just get stuck in one, you know, one lane. You oh, gotta, yeah. you gotta be able to change lanes in order to keep going down the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So roads or you gotta yes. move at least with it. Sometimes fat. Yeah. It's like, I know that there's a lot of people that just do one thing. Mm-hmm. And then like, if that thing dries they up, or, out. And one thing, and and on one app, mm-hmm. yeah. And you probably get sick of doing it too if you're oh. still in one. You know what I mean? Like then the passion's gone because now it's just you're doing this one thing over and over. Mm-hmm. It's terrible. But Absolutely. but man, the one thing people go huge for a little yeah, bit, do. <laughs> don't they? <laughs> yeah. Gosh, the one thing people like. This is all I do. Like the 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 one girl that like you know she remember she would like remake like logos. Mm-hmm. Oh, like yeah. there's a bunch yeah. of like they yeah. just do the one guy that like has like can you like be like the sun when like the moon you discover the moon or right. they have like a, you know there's like god the one thing people are great but they never get away from that like the girl that yeah. makes the logos she can really i don't know her i'm sure she's great and she might be in, in a new, new lane i'm not sure i don't know the only time i ever see her is when she comes on and she's just really dry i don't see how yeah, she could ever yeah. do content outside of just being completely dry yeah and almost like she doesn't know what's going on you know yeah it's funny, kind of. Because you know she's smart. She has yeah, to she be has smart. To be smart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you look at her and you go, is this real? Then you like meet her in real life. She's like, oh my God, what's up? You're like, I knew it, dude. I knew it. Yeah. That's the beauty of the internet, man. You can really do whatever you want on there. Mm-hmm. I think that's what, what's her name is trying to avoid right now. Hawk to a girl. Oh, yeah. She's trying to avoid, I think, getting locked into that lane she, of like, you're only that. I'll be surprised if she laughs. And and yeah. I'm not hating on the girl. Not that's hating fine. on her at yeah. all. I hope she's successful. I hope everybody's successful online because there's enough pie to go around for everybody. Just because somebody follows you don't mean they can't follow me too. You know, they I, can watch I've been actively TV. telling people to not. Right. But if they yeah. do, uh, yeah, that's I'm not. Like, that's on them. Yeah. I mean, that, I wonder how many mutuals we have. He had not been canceled yet. Yeah. Wait till this episode comes out. The first <laughs> no, we got to cut that part out. We got to cut that. Yeah, that's got to stay. That's perfect. Just bleep it. Just bleep it. I'm over here telling your editor what to do. Just bleep it out. It's good. (laughs) That one two second sound bite is going to be nuts. No, 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 no. Hold on. In every other scenario where there's a K and an N, (laughs) it's N. Where else? He's got a point. You're not wrong. 
Thank you. But I had what? said it Thank three you. times before you did. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's going to be an awesome clip. Yeah, I can't a good wait start. To, good start. Yeah. Even if it gets clipped out, I need you to send me that. Well, I'm not going to post it. I got to see it. I'll okay. talk to my lawyers about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Well, it's it, it, the 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 internet is unique in a way. I think for everybody, where it it like we were talking about uh, Tom Wilson, who's the uh, Biff from Back to the Future, mm-hmm. and I did a comedy show with him one time, and he said he he was he has like f- four or five brothers. And he was always just like I'm sure you were as a kid. Couldn't do nothing. weren't probably great at school. I don't want to put that on you if you were great at school, but were you not? I didn't apply myself. Yeah, but same. I, I would always make the. If you told me Gosh, I had to just have, like me, dude. I had to have a 69.8 hall, so I'm getting a 69.8 because exactly, I ain't doing dude. no extra. Mm-hmm. I ain't trying to make valedictorian. And I wasn't really. I was like, what do I need to get into college to go 3.0? Yeah. I came in at 3.0. I go. I I, I don't. I just did what, and I was, but I was, I was, couldn't, just a lot of discipline problems, a lot of, and, and Tom was telling me every time he comes home for Christmas, all of his brothers who, you know, their alarm goes off at 530, they got to drive in traffic to the mm-hmm. cubicle and they go, how did this guy get around? It's the free spirit, man. The system. How did he get around yeah. the system? Well, you know, I did, you talk about graduating I wasn't even able to go to school my junior and senior year. They kicked me out of school, Dang. but they didn't expel me. They was just like, he hasn't done anything bad enough to where we can really. Expel yeah, you weren't him. bad. I wasn't they bad. They sent either. a teacher yeah. to my house <laughs> three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, at like 9 a.m. for an hour and a half. <laughs> a whole I was teacher? in hog heaven. I did, yeah, a whole teacher just for me. It this, was awesome. This, this, that was supposed to be a punishment? Exactly. Christian school? Public. No, public. What kind of tax dollars you got going on a teacher over a few punchlines during class? You know, I could not help it, man. If I could make somebody laugh, I was trying to make them laugh. Same. So disruptive. Same. So disruptive. But you didn't. They were like, he's. He didn't like, you know, bring a weapon to school or no. like fight somebody. So we can't really kick. We. You can't be here, but we don't really know what to do with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kicked out, but not expelled. That's crazy. I've never heard of that before. I me neither, and I haven't heard of it since. Huh. <laughs> Last of a dying breed, man. What's it, what was her name? Her name a different was, teacher. Uh, uh, Miss, uh, well, they, they had a, that, it was an older black lady, right? And I don't even know if she was a certified teacher or not, because she could have cared less what I was doing. Are you sure she, your parents didn't just get a babysitter? No. <laughs> no are you sure <laughs> this was a teacher? She would come make me do work, and I would fill out half the sheet, and I was just basically like, ah, this is dumb. I don't have to know this, yeah. right? I, yeah. I, I've already proved to you that I know how to do it, with the first three questions, I'm not doing the last nine. And she would just be like, here's the answer key. You know, she already She knew. didn't care. Yeah. Oh, she gets I mean, it. Yeah. That's cool. I like her. Yeah. That's nice. Well, you don't fit into the, you didn't fit into like the, uh, were you always cracking people up in the military? Yeah. Yeah. So was I. Yeah. I did my, whatever job I had before this. I was, was about to say, wait, you was in the military? <laughs> yeah. I did yeah. not know this. <laughs> Stolen valor. Private Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you think I would last in the military? No. <laughs> no, I'd I think you would. no, you would. I fit you right would. in. Yeah, I'd be following. The I don't rules. know if you'd be able to. Uh, I don't know. Getting up early might be a struggle. Those NASCAR you. races, when I see the flyover, I want to. I want to enlist. Yeah, that. I mean, that's only like like a half a percent of people that get to do that. The flyover? No, but get it makes to me fly wanna... in the airplane. You know, uh, Jared Mullins, who's been here on the podcast, his his wife is in the military, and she after nine eleven, she goes, "I'm going." Wow. Just like that. I've heard a couple of stories like that. Mm-hmm. They were like, like, you know, so if a paramedic saves your life or if a, you go, mm-hmm. I want to do that, it like changes you in a way like that. There's people, a lot of people in the military like that. I don't know. You don't go in there. I feel like in the military, you're people kind of working asked, with other people. Are you not? You just People alone? have asked me the last 19 years, why'd you go in the military? And still to this day, I have no clue. Really? <laughs> I don't even know why I've done it for 19 years. <laughs> I've hated it for the past eight. I don't know, but it worked out. You that's know? honest, dude. That's I mean, just a couple of decades of. Yeah, I guess I'll go again today. Why did I, why yeah. did I do that? Yeah, I don't know. You want to? I keep started going? to get I'll out at my ten year mark. Yeah, and I was like, uh, I called a couple people. I'm like, hey, you got out. You know, we we went through basic together or whatever. Oh yeah. You got out. Like, how you feel about it? And it's like, man, you got to stay in. It's 
it's it's bad out here. And I was oh, like, okay, oh, oh, yeah. I'll do that. Fair you enough. know what? That's not. I haven't heard that story. I haven't heard that perspective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I remember when I went in. Um, I was in Kuwait on a military tour, mm-hmm. comedy tour though. I was. <laughs> I was what? Saying it that way is wild. <laughs> well, I was. Go, I had to show. I had to entertain. I had to do shows for the troops, mm-hmm. our troops. Right. In Kuwait. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? It was awesome. But like a lot of people over there were like, now stay for six months and work seven days a week for 12 <laughs> hours a day. Bro, it I gets long. That. Yeah, I couldn't. I mean, they were like a lot of people were like, you know, they got a wife and three kids back home and they go, it's about to be the end of your thing or whatever. And they go, hey, um, we'll give you 20 grand right now if you re up for two years. I don't know what the numbers are. I've never gotten a reenlistment bonus. Really? No, I don't. I don't have a clue why I'm still in. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just, I just wander through life. I don't know what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what you're doing? Not really. Sometimes people ask me for advice on comedy. I go, what? <laughs> I don't I have no idea. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Who cares? There's no rules. <laughs> I, that's a if fact. it works, it works. Yeah. You know? I don't know. You think I, if I knew what the what the what the viral. <laughs> algorithm was i would do that look at my feed it's littered with (laughs) videos that go for four people also you think i'd share it with you if i knew how to do this (laughs) i'm guessing too i know i've seen your stuff you look you're trying to be like me it looks like yeah i don't know do whatever you want have you uh do you see the world through military do you travel at all man not a whole lot no no uh so i've been in for 19 years Mm -hmm. right and so 17 out of my 19 years, I have lived in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. I went there on a mission trip. <laughs> you went to a mission trip in Fort Walton? <laughs> and they need saving. Yeah. That's one of my videos. <laughs> yeah. They need saving. Oh, yeah. No, I I went to Barksdale, Shreveport, Louisiana. If you ever get a chance to live in Shreveport, don't. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. No, you don't you don't want to do that. What about Bossier City? Bossier. Man, we lived in Bossier. Yeah. That Crystal Todd in the inner city of Shreveport. one time. Yeah. Good place. Houghton. I think it was Houghton, where it was. Houghton. She taught in Bossier City. No, she taught in Shreveport, Shreveport. Inner City. Uh, yeah. Gosh. That was, uh, there was some wild stories out of that. Mm-hmm. Alex, if it if it came out that uh, Justin Nunley was never in the military, would you be surprised by that? That might be the only thing that I'd be surprised by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, mean, like, I don't know. Dude. Might be the only one. I don't Have know. Have you ever wondered if like <laughs> if like some of us... And I say some of us, like content creators, like big yeah. are like psyops. Dang, dude. Well, Have you ever it? wondered about this? For sure. There's got to be a few out there. No question there are. The one guy that makes the defense of Joe Biden videos. Mm. What's that? You know that kid? Yes. Seen. He's like, Joe Biden is the best president. Oh, Harry Sisson? Yeah, yes, dude, that's that guy. guy. <laughs> he's having a tough week right now. He's, of, hey. all, of all the people, he's... Hey. And listen. You know he was aiming for a cabinet position. He had to be. He's having a tough week. Not anymore. He says that Kamala Harris is up in the polls beating Donald Trump. He's lit. So oh, he's, he's bad, dude. He's bad. <laughs> and if you'll believe that, you'll believe anything. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they just trying to put the fix in, you know? Let me see how much they, if they said, hey, somebody came up to me. I'm about to get in my car. Mm-hmm. And somebody came up to me and was like, hey, listen, we've heard about your podcast. We need Kamala Harris. We need the... We need the Southern conservative white Christian male vote mm. bad. Mm. And he has a checkbook. Do people still have those? That person would. He has, sure. he, has he, yeah. he pulls one out of here. Yes. He yeah. goes, what's it going to take? All pro Kamala Harris content until November. Mm-hmm. Only? Exclusively? It's not Exclusively. that long. That's nothing not that else. Long. No other comedy, nope. no nothing. It's like 100 days. I just don't think I, I don't think I could. I don't think that I could go against my beliefs and say, I've always said you can buy my voice if I agree with what you're selling, mm. with what you're doing. You can buy my voice, but you can't buy my opinion. Yeah, give me a billion dollars. That's <laughs> nice. Yeah. Now you give me a billion dollars, yeah. man. We'll talk about it, you know? A billion? No, dude, be All honest. Right. Be Everybody in this room, be honest. Yeah. I mean, I have like 4,000 Instagram followers, so give me like... Uh, Ten grand? He's no, it's gotta, no, no, it's got to be more. It's got to be. Well, can you can grand. you immediately go back to yeah, yourself afterwards and be like, I wasn't that. So I November second, I can be like, actually, oh. here's what I got paid to do. That I don't Sorry. think I don't think it would take much. 
Give me a hundred. I, 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 I can immediately go back to myself afterwards and be like, hey, that was all. Every day you have to post a pro Kamala Harris bit. I don't know if I could do it with a straight <laughs> face. That, I think that would be the struggle. <laughs> That's absurd. It's what a hundred days. It's 90 days. I mean, give me like. Nine, they go, we need 90 videos. Yeah. We need 90 videos. <laughs> Dude. Someone's doing it though. Like you're right. There's odds. I are also, but I. But, someone's but on I that payroll. Be, I wouldn't make a 90 Trump videos either. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. That's what you're saying. You're like, dude. I like if you come at me with like, uh, well, we got to advertise or something. This podcast. Mm -hmm. What's your saying? Like, I'll give you my voice if I we like the things that we mm -hmm. we are talking about. I mm -hmm. have turned down more money so than I've taken. We, so if we, not well, well I, I have. That, I have. <laughs> I have, I have told more people to hit the highway than I've taken money from. Yeah. I'm not even joking about that. I just can't. Yeah, you know it's just the way I was raised. I I I, I cannot do it. To say you, can, I'm not gonna. Yeah, but the the uh, beer stick ego signed me up. That's <laughs> this thing's pretty <laughs> dang cool. One? Yeah, he advertises that. It is a beer stick. He's like, hey, man. listen, a lot of these <laughs> products I cannot endorse. Beer syringe. Yeah, yeah, let me get that. Yeah. Before yeah. I do like a a big like long term partnership with somebody, I have to meet the owners. Nice. I want to know. I want to look you in the eye, and I want to know what you're about before I even get in bed with you. Did you have any uh, deals early on that you look back on and you're like, I shouldn't have done that one? No. You just knew always that, like, no, I'm going to make sure that I stay to myself on this. Yeah, because uh, you spend money, man. Yeah. You know, I the only thing the only thing that you have is, is your name and your word. You know, so you yeah. know, money spends. You know, I, I have money day. I may be broke in a month. Hey, you don't know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, but that, yeah, but we. I mean, we've. There's been some things in here because they send it to the house. You know, they go, "Hey, we we're looking at. Can we send you a box of whatever?" <laughs> oh yeah, you can send me whatever. I'll yeah. try it out. And I go, I've. I, we were you on the way in here, and I go, yeah. dude, I can't. I cannot put my name behind this. Mm -mm. So you I even hate tell it. Yeah, well, I don't tell him directly. I tell him, yeah. and he tells the other guy, and they tell right. him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't yeah, we pass him. that buck for sure. Yeah. I mean, people ask me all the time. They're like, "Hey, you know, if I send you something, will you try it out?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'll try it out. I'll try it you out. You know, yeah. but I'm not telling you I'm gonna try it out on video. Now, if I get it, like even like Mama Mama's Eve's pralines. Yeah, right. So I did this not too long ago. Small mom and pop business, and I wasn't gonna take their money. They yeah. don't have it. You know. And they sent me like this big old package. I was like, this stuff is good. Yeah. Right. So I did a video and they they sold out in like 15 minutes. Gosh, wow. dude. And I was like, you know, yep. to bless somebody like that, I'm glad that I have a platform that I could do that. Yeah. Some, you know, that's bigger than me getting a payday, honestly. Mm. Yep. I love helping people. I feel the same. I always have loved helping people. Yeah. We did we did the uh where you could go. Whatever house happens in your day, whatever checks you get, you like you set them, you set that you literally set them on a different course. Mm -hmm. And really, I mean, we did that tornado benefit for everybody in Rogers, Arkansas. It was like forty grand. We just put right back into the community. I mean, that's we bought someone a roof, dude, which is huge because you know. And I think that's even bigger than going through like a nonprofit because you know somebody's at the top of that nonprofit taking money. Yeah, you know, yeah. I I hate doing that, and I hate to say I'm not look. I'm not saying all nonprofits are bad. looking into the camera, looking mm -hmm. at you. I'm not saying all nonprofits are bad, but research yeah. what you're giving to and how much money's coming off the top before you give money to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have seen the bad side of that. 100%. Yeah, where you go, man, we got all this. It, like, I think somebody was like, I think it was in Nashville. It's like the, um, was it at uh, WSMV, they do this like uh, bike drive. I think mm -hmm. Jelly Roll was a part of it last year, mm -hmm. but he goes, mm hmm we went to it and we were like, we were like walking all these kids around to like get Christmas gifts. And I go, they were like, we have all these, they were like, we only have like 300 bikes. So everybody can't get a bike. So try to like, like discourage them away from mm. like, and I go, well, how many kids are, how many bikes? I'll call you or I'll, well, we I'll can, buy bikes. Let's get some more bikes. Well, how, yeah. how do we get the, how do we get the more bikes? That's wild. I'd you know? be like, I'll I'll buy the bikes and figure it out on the back end. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. And if we could just, man, if we like, I've been I've been in my own like, in my own personal life, like going through a lot of stuff. And I was talking with with Lydia, and I was like, dude, we we have to like make like we get so in our own heads with our own work and our own whatever. I was like, man, go out and like help other people. Like, we get you out of your own head and your own. 
Bro, it does. It's a nightmare it, it in here, It does something dude. for you. It's a nightmare in here. It, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. go help some people, man. Relatable. What's the biggest one you've done? Was it the the gifts one? Which one? I right, see it. Humble, uh, humble, humble mm. brag. Which one? I just do so much philanthropy. I just. <laughs> I try to do something good every. It was month. the Christmas one, right? Oh yeah, every child deserves Christmas. I think yeah. we raised about seventy five thousand dollars. Not every child, but you know, yeah, some yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah for yeah. the most part. Yeah, but if you can set the like, you can do something for that other person that it is that you just with your voice or with your income or with your even influence, you can set that person on a different track. Mm-hmm. And because somebody did that to you. Yeah. Because I feel like, I mean, without my advice at the Braves game, maybe you wouldn't have a career. <laughs> I learned so much from you. And that we hung out for, what, 15 minutes Probably at that Braves game? Like that, yeah. I learned so much from John Christ because it was right when I was blowing up. I don't even think I had – I mean, it was literally right when – I know who you happened. were, but, yeah, right. it was very – you're yeah. like, how do you do it? I go, oh, yeah, shoot, I have no idea. I was – we would be standing – we stand there in the concourse. It was after the game – and people were coming up to John, and he was just talking to them like they went to school together. So oh, they do be he, doing that. He would talk to them, and and they would you know, roll on or whatever. And uh, and I asked him, I was like, "Who was that?" And he was like, "Hmm." I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "It's awesome." Because he was like asking about their family and everything oh, else, yeah. like very I personable. And I was yeah. like, I was like, "Man, that's wild." And that helped me so much because little did I know that it yeah. was about to get like that for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and and it did. And I really wished I could be more like you in that aspect because a lot of times I feel like I'm always in a hurry. Yeah, you know, yeah. like I, I got somewhere else I got to be. So yeah. you know, somebody would be like, "Hey, can we take a picture?" I'm like, "Yeah, we got to make it quick though." So we got to get to. And yeah. you're like, "Really?" Like, to, I'm not in a hurry. Where? Yeah, I'm not in a hurry. And I'm not the best at that either. But yeah, you you like I think it was Jerry Seinfeld one time, and he, he was like, "Dude, you have to find a way to love those people, mm -hmm. and that'll make you a better writer. You you practice more. You." Take care of your body more. You take care of because you you do love those people. Oh, one hundred percent. And I believe that about yeah. you. That when you when I see somebody that comes up and says, I mean, I I say at the show sometimes, man, we're in wherever Ohio. I was like, man, I wish, and this is not a lie. I wish I could come to everybody's like Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and just and learn about your life and your family and yeah. your. I I legitimately feel that mm -hmm. i'm like man what's this what are y'all about what are y'all doing How, what are your kids like what are your what's it and i can't obviously but I, I i feel like i treat people like that i don't see how I, I i do feel that way i don't see how people can only run pages on straight philanthropy right because me it takes so much out of me Right, because I, oh, yeah. you know, yep, yep. like it almost puts me in a depressive state afterwards, even after the person's helped. You know, I oh, just yeah, feel I feel so low. much weight on me to to help these people, and I, I don't know what that is, and that's usually why I only do about one thing a month because yeah. it, dude, it. And as soon as you help somebody, you know as well as I do, that inbox gets flooded with some of the saddest stuff you've oh, ever read gosh, in your life, dude. and you're yeah, like, yeah. I. All of it's probably not true, yeah. but some of it, you're like, it you is. couldn't make that up. And like, yeah. I, I can't even help you, you know? That's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. beyond my, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you you kind of take the weight of the world on your, on yourself, I guess, because if you, like, I mean, we the, some of the ticket requests we get are just like, and then unfortunately, some people abuse it. Yeah. So, and then, And yeah. that's what sucks. Yeah. Because people always try to take advantage of people trying to do good, and always, that is like yeah. the worst. Dude, when you, you find hear, out that you've been duped. You want to hear a funny story? Yeah. One time, it was I don't know where it was. So this girl sends me a DM, or what? It, maybe it was her. This girl sends me a DM, and and she's like, "It's been been my dream to like meet you, or like I'm a, I've been a huge fan, and like something about things aren't going well, or and, okay." This is a true story, and the, I bet this person's still a fan, so I'm probably going to get a DM about this. She had a shaved head. So I was like... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Cancer John. patient. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. I was like... <laughs> How long you got? <laughs> <laughs> is it terminal? Yeah. Yeah. 
which I, stage are no. you? What's your prognosis? I wish. <laughs> That's I, the way. Yeah. I wish I would have asked that prior. A week she came back. Like, just in your mind, you have built this up. She's a cancer patient. Yes. I was. Oh, my God. Uh, she had a shaved head. <laughs> she had a shaved head, dude. Uh, <laughs> how does this go? Where does this I go? I was like, absolutely. Like, I'll connect you with like my, t- my tour manager and like, we'll get y'all back to like, I thought it was like a make a wish or something like that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, this would be a good look PR wise for me. Like, this would be nice. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. We'll get like a photo. Yeah. Or, or we'll get like what, like a who is like with you or like, is it your pair? Who's like, like, yeah. like, who's your caretaker yeah. or you something? Right? Who goes to- <laughs> Who goes to chemo with you? Is that who this is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So she like comes back and she's like regular, like the most like was it like long hair? No, no. She still had. She was like she was like dressed in a way that like it would make sense that she was bald. Oh, like she was so cool. Yeah, that she, was she could like, have a shaved yeah, head. But yeah. I, in the photo, you can't see what she's like. Was she goth? No, she was just like funny or like she's really trendy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New segment: Cancer or trendy? Oh, so did you get, you get her the tickets, John? Did you give her the tickets? Yes, I gave her tickets, dude. I gave her, I like took care of her, like gave her free merch and stuff like that. Is she just now going to learn about this by listening to these? <laughs> <laughs> like you, you didn't stick your foot in your mouth or anything? No, man? I think I said something about like how's everything going? <laughs> oh my! She's going to learn about. This. Do me a favor. I need you to DM me also when you learn about this on this podcast. Hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I don't care oh where you. Oh my goodness! Send me an email. I need to know I, I your. Think I think I I think I was like asking like things like that, or like so like, how's everything going, <laughs> or like what's been like, how's it been, or where like, was the show at? <laughs> I, do, I don't Come remember. on, you're like, you know, asking, you know, he knows. You're like asking about events that are like on the calendar, like yeah. certain amounts out to yeah. see if she's going to be around for it. I was like, do you so think you're going to be around for the presidential yeah. election? Yeah, so the Olympics <laughs> are next year. Like, is that, you looking forward to it? Or? A lot of people with shave heads. Because one, one time I had to take my brother to get a haircut and they messed it up. I messed it up and they had to shave it. And yeah. he went to school the next day yeah. and his whole class wrote him Goodwill soon cards. <laughs> I'm not even joking, bro. <laughs> How old was he? <laughs> he was probably like eight. Oh my lord! Yeah. Yeah. This is like funny. three years ago, probably. Yeah. I was oh, like, gosh, uh, dude. yeah. I think, and then I, I think either, either maybe she tagged me in the photo, and then it like, maybe it opened up her whole Instagram, or maybe I never looked at it, or I just like saw the photo, and it's like, yeah, sounds good. Talk to my tour manager or something. And then she, it, maybe I was tagged in the photo, and then I saw, it, and then I was like, she was back there, and she was like r- regular. <laughs> And I was like, get out. I didn't say get out. I've yeah. been duped. I've been. So, that, so if you ever want to get free tickets to yeah. John Chris show, shave your head or use a filter. <laughs> that's that's what we do now. Oh, yeah. Use a filter. That's better. Bro, that's incredible. I mean, I was like, dude, that, that is, is awesome. I can't believe I go, mm, that's it. really funny. Yeah. There had to be something else that made you made you <laughs> yeah. like, was she really pale and frail looking? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. She's a, probably a fan, dude. She probably listened to this pod. What is that girl's name? I wonder if she picked up on it. But yeah, was she trying to like dupe you into she it? She was or? like homeschool. Okay. And it was like one of the, you know. How that could, yeah. that they, could play that way. Yeah, they like do it. Like, <laughs> I'm going to shave my head. It's like art. My it's mind like immediately a, went to Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, those older nice. pictures where she's got the shaved head and everything. It's like kind of like what, a Britney type situation. Right, yeah. like a, but it, was, it didn't look, it didn't like look bad. I mean, her, her name is like Jessica and she got a shaved head. So when I see the photo, I'm like this. <laughs> okay. No, I'm saying if it was like Kyle. Cancer doesn't discriminate, John. No, 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 no. If it was like Kyle, I'm like, that's Kyle's got a shaved head. It's like, this girl has a shaved head. What? You can't do that. You what? cannot do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need to hear from this girl, dude. I need to oh, know. She's going to DM us. She's we'll, coming on yeah. next week. Her last name was K N I. <laughs> oh goodness oh man oh. how long are you in nashville um till friday morning yeah dude that's the way. who's who's yeah. man in the post are, are, are our borders unsafe in florida mm. you're no we're still okay yeah we're still good okay good. yeah we got the coast guard out there yeah. yeah all right blake blake knows what's up oh yeah blake's oh, yeah. playing football he had Is his he? very first football practice yesterday ever ever you and know, you Blake's, Blake's wild. We're here watching a fake podcast. Mm. Right. Not a fake podcast. How a old? real podcast. 
10. This nice. kid's wild. He's dude. he's going to be This kid is unhinged. Blake's yeah. going to be an entertainer. All right. He's got the timing. He understands what's funny. He doesn't know when to and when not to yet. That's part of the You'll problem. You'll learn that. You'll sure. learn that. Yeah. He he loves John Chris. Loves John. Well, yep. let's not talk about that. It's <laughs> been some violations of privacy. Blake thinks the funniest thing is to check somebody's oil. Okay. So John, sure. yeah. John Christ and Jelly Roll are his two favorite to do it to because y'all give him the best <laughs> reaction. No, I just, I just not prepared for it. <laughs> Who is though? Yeah, no one is. Who is? Yeah, yeah. Whoever is. It's first football practice. First football did, practice. Did he get the bowl cut? I told him to. The bowl cut? He's got a perfect head for bowl cut. No, he's growing a mullet. And right you would now. know. You yeah. have experience with heads. I know. I he's said, growing a mullet. This is a, this is a, you got to get this kid a uh, bowl cut. He said, no, he's going mullet. Yeah, he's rocking Interesting. It. Both kids are rocking a mullet. Are you gonna are you gonna stay down in Florida after you retire? I don't know. It depends on how good I do opening for you. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. Well, you know that thing we have on stage where all three of us come out together. Mm-hmm. You can definitely be on that. Yeah, that would be fun. Gosh, that would be awesome. All right, we're coming down. We're coming down to Florida like four days. When? In uh, the fall. Thirty A. Can't hide money. Get, I'm trying to where we get close to Sarasota, Melbourne, Jacksonville. That's not close. Fort mm-hmm. Lauderdale. We go down to the rich parts. You know what I'm saying? Bakersfield, California. Oh, yeah, we'll be there. That's where Dwight we'll Yoakam's from. Is he? And Buck Owens and Gary Allen. Dang, did you know him Three all. very distinct voices came out of came Oh, out dude, of remember the uh, – what what piece of content have we made together? The NASCAR thing? Yeah, Broadway. Broadway. When Blake. Yeah, yeah, check the oil. And then the NASCAR video yeah, when NASCAR. Kevin Harpett got upset with us. Did he really? Yeah, he got mad. Why? Why? Because we made a joke about him being in a wheelchair. Hey, he got hurt. Come on, dude. He was old. He's old. Yeah. Oh, no. That was, uh, uh, yeah. It's because he's old. And then the if guy, anybody should have got mad, it should have been Kyle Larson. Yeah, dude. You know, the Twitch joke. Hey, wonder yeah. when he's getting sponsored by Twitch. <laughs> he's, uh, Alex not going to get that joke. No, I don't, that's over my head. Or the, the um, and not to go back to this topic, but there was the, the rodent. Yeah, digger. <laughs> So Fox, should we edit that out too? Fox, no, 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 no. I wanted to wait. All right, I need all right. to post this let, video because it's funny. Let me. All right, set it up. We still have the video. Yeah. All right. So we were going in this like merch tent, right? <laughs> You've seen this video, Alex is it was dying. We're going around this merch tent. We we're on this merch tent, and we would be like making all the jokes about the drivers. Mm-hmm. And we're like, oh, listen, listen, this is a, uh, this is uh, what's it called when they win. Where do you take them to? Oh. The winner's circle. This is the yeah, winner's yeah. circle. So-and-so wouldn't know anything about that. Mm. This is uh, Ty Gibbs or whatever. We would make a joke Must about- Must be good to have his granddad's money, you know. Nice. Uh, oh, it's Ty Gibbs. I go, man, I want to buy this shirt. It costs $12. Let me see if I can get my granddad's credit card. Yes. All these yeah. jokes, right? We were going to roasting everything. So at <laughs> Bristol, and I got to be careful about this because we're already on strike two on this podcast. Bristol Motor Speedway <laughs> has a mascot. No, no, no. That was Fox's. It was Fox's old ma- mascot. Mascot, mascot for dirt tracks? No, or for, no for for any. It, it was it was a camera that was like inlaid into the concrete. That's what it was, and the cars would drive over it. Mm-hmm. Yes, so it was. it's like a golfer, right? That's why. Yes, yes. His yes, name yes. is yeah Digger. His name was Digger. Mm-hmm. So, so that there, was the name of the was, cam. And there was a, a shirt, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. the shirt had that rodent on had, it. Had Digger on it. The little mascot is like a little golfer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And who made the joke? Me. You did. It was off the cuff, and it's still the funniest thing I believe I've ever seen in real life. You know, <laughs> I've got the video. I've watched. I've watched it several times since. So I pulled down the shirt off the rack. I go. I said. I said. Oh look, it's no. You did. I had the shirt. I said. Oh look, it's Digger. And I go, John said, "It's Digger." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we might have to clip that yeah, out. It might be a pattern here. It that might be a pattern. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, just no. saying. That's a, dude, so we we all, uh, I do this every, before I press publish on every video, we all go, well, let's, we'll do film it. Yeah. And then we're sitting there and we go back and forth. I think it's 1030 at night. I go, dude, we're going to post that in the morning. And he goes, I go, huh? And you just, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Me and him were both were like, I don't know if we can do that. Yeah. Not it's because funny. we don't believe in it. Or if somebody saw us making that video, I, would, I wouldn't, I would own it. I think it's yeah. hilarious. It's a good go. joke. <laughs> it is really good joke. That's funny. <laughs> it's even funnier off the cuff just as you're going. It was like, it was like perfect. Gosh, I was like, oh, look, Digger. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, that's it. Like when you do, when I do, do you feel in that annoying? We'll wrap on this, but do you feel like some kind of, when you're making content, do you feel like, an escape in a lot of ways mm-hmm. with the with the reality of life and the heaviness of 
You're like, I'm going to go make a video. Like, if you had a day off, would you make videos? Bro, I have not had a day off in four years. Dang, dude. Four years. Is it because of Biden? <laughs> yeah, man. The, this dang inflation. No, because of he. you work for him. <laughs> no, I'm talking about, like, content. <laughs> video a day. <laughs> I'm talking oh. about content. I, I'll yeah, put yeah, at least yeah. three videos out a day. Yeah. No, I only work. Yeah, I work five days a week. I work baker hours. But do you, do you like to make videos? That's a yes for the listener. Yeah. It's a nod of the head. Yes, yeah, yes. it's, it's uh yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. I like to make videos. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. I enjoy people's reaction out of them. It well, gets old after a while, though. And, and yeah, but you can take a break. Are you going to fall out of the algorithm or what? I don't know. I've never tried it. I want to hear you now. You've been three, day, three videos a day. For how long? Four years. Oh my God. Dude, that's a grind. That's like 1,200 That's videos. like the Kanye five beats a day all summer. That's you. Hey, man, I don't play. Yeah. I got kicked out of recess because I don't play. Nice. Dang, but, dude. I mean, I, you know, nice. if you got to stay hungry. But it does suck. And you could probably attest to this is, is when, you know, you don't always feel creative and you don't always oh, feel funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we all struggle. We all have our own demons. I've yep. struggled with depression yeah. just about my entire life. Yeah. You know, I think just about any any comedian can. I think 100%. just about every comedian. It's, it's yeah. a prerequisite Unless to you're be lying a comedian. to yourself. Yeah, yeah every single one. Yeah. yeah. So but you got up. Yeah. I want to hear you narrate something. I'd love to hear your voice over something like uh, um, Animal Planet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I don't want to do your voice, but yeah. And the alligator comes out of the wild. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Yeah, it was and it he, was what I wanted. Chomps to on a deer. It was yeah, perfect. I didn't see him. Yeah. Uh, all right, ACW tonight. AEW. AEW Dynamite. Oh, let's go. AEW. Uh, Bridgestone you, Arena. Front, I hope it's blood and guts, right? Uh, I want to see some blood, man. Mm -hmm. I want guts. Yeah, I yeah. want to see it all. Yeah. Justin Nunnally, dude, good to have you, brother. Thanks for having Best me. Best of luck to you, bro. We'll see you. Hey, and and uh, we're not going to announce which tour dates you're coming on yet. We'll do mm. it. But you know where this guy lives, fun. and if you follow him. Uh, what are you, Justin Danger Nunley everywhere? Yeah, Justin Danger Nunley. And how many how many followers do you have cumulative these days? I think it's over fifteen million. I don't know. Let's go, dude. And well, climbing. And climbing, baby. And more after this. Good to see you, brother. Love you, bro. I mean, yeah, sure, it was a little weird, but on the net, net on the on the it, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. But on the net, it's a positive.